What's going on, Island Hoppers? We've officially made it to the Motor City, also known as Motown, Detroit, Michigan. Let's do it. In this Detroit travel guide, we're gonna show you guys around the downtown area. We're also going to show you along the riverfront. Now, the downtown area is popular with locals and visitors. However, Detroit is not normally uh, a tourist destination. So you don't have that kind of experience that you get in major metropolitan cities around America here in Detroit. It is a nice city. It's a beautiful atmosphere and environment. And that's what we're gonna show off here in this travel guide. And the name Detroit is actually a French word for the Strait. And they're referring to the Strait River that goes from Lake St. Clair to Lake Erie. So the Strait River is Detroit River. That's where the word comes from, the Strait. It's a French word. Detroit is rich in history as it was once a major industrial hub of America for production in industries like automobiles and other uh, major industry around the era of the early 1900s. So very rich in history. It was one of America's original boom towns uh, right there in the Great Lakes region of the Midwest. And this is a look downtown. You can see they are gentrifying the area. It keeps getting better and better with a facelift and renovation taking place all across Detroit. Also, if you guys are new to this channel and you guys enjoy travel guides from across America, do be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like this video as we continue to show you guys around Detroit. Here we are at the intersection of Woodward and Grand River, and you can see it is a vibrant place in the middle of the daytime. This is about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, guys, where we're at right now is Woodward Avenue. And this actually is a historical area called the Theater District that was built in the Roaring Twenties. This is where you'll find the Opera House and the Fox Theater. building that we're standing next to right now was built in 1915 by David Whitney. He was a lumber, real estate, and shipping magnate here in Detroit. So there's a really old history right here on uh, the Woodward Avenue area. Yeah, so here we are right next to the Tigers Stadium called Comerica Park. If you look right over here, you can see Ford Field. That's where the Lions do their business. All right, here we are in Grand Circus. You can see the park here. If we turn around right over here, they've got a United Methodist Church, several statues. And yeah, this area is called Grand Circus. In 
if you look right above here, you can see the DPM. This is the Detroit People Mover. It's a tram system. You can see there's the Grand Circus Station. And we made it to Fox Theater, right across the street from Comerica Park. And in case you guys didn't know, Detroit is considered hockey town. You can see right here is a Red Wings bar right next to their stadium, Little Caesars Arena. And here's another beautiful church, the St. John's Episcopal Church. Right here we have a Michigan historic site called the Chicago Road. This is an old roadway that would connect fur traders, the old Native Americans, with Chicago to Detroit. So you can see right here. Right here, we're standing at the Detroit Riverfront. People ride their bikes, jog up and down the riverfront here. If you look in the water, it's surprisingly a really cool color blue. The area across the Detroit River here is Windsor, Ontario, so that's Canada. This side right here, if you look over here, you can see Detroit. Here behind me, you can see the General Motors building. That's where Detroit gets its name, the Motor City, because auto manufacturing assembly lines, Ford Motor Company, General Motors, were doing big things with the automobile here in Detroit about 50 years ago. Since then, it's kind of slowed down, but Detroit still holds the name, Motown. You guys know that D 
Detroit Riverwalk was rated number one in America 10 years in a row, according to USA Today. All right, guys, so you can see right here in the river, you've got walleye, smallmouth bass, muscalengi, yellow perch, white bass. And then if you look right here on the map, here we are, right next to Lake St. Clair, you have Lake Erie down south here. In a way, Detroit is the center of the industrial region of the Great Lakes, which was made possible by shipping. You can see the history here, Great Lakes Shoners, the steam engine boats, Boblo boats, and you can see the greater Detroit area has had a lot of different freighters coming through here, which made the Great Lakes region a very industrial, powerfully charging engine for the United States. Detroit is a Detroit has a population of 670,000 people, making it the second largest city in the Great Lakes Midwest region, just behind Chicago. If you include the entire metropolitan area, there's 4.3 million people that live here, making it the 14th most populated metro area in all of America. Look at these nice homes. And you can see the gentrification taking place along the riverfront here. As you can see, these new homes are being built. And actually, a pretty good way to get around town is on one of these scooters by Bird. Uh, you just download the app and voila, you're riding it for however long you need to. The area along the waterfront here, the river, is actually a pretty nice stroll and walk. People come out here and jog, ride bikes. Here we are at the Greening, which is an organic garden right in the heart of the financial district on Shelby and Lafayette Street. So organic garden right in the heart of the city. Now there are two museums that I do recommend you checking out. Unfortunately, the time that we're here right now, we're not able to get over there, but the Henry Ford Museum, as well as the Heidelberg Project. I got a uh, Stella.
Well, I got some lamb chops. As I said before, there is a renovation taking place here, an urban revitalization, as you can see with the City Club apartments behind me. They're leasing right here in the heart of Detroit. Alright Island Hoppers, thanks for watching this episode of Detroit, Michigan. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Watch some of these other videos and we will see you on the next one.